So I'm wearing this blue shirt and red shorts. My family just told me I was dressed like a Lego minifigure. Hey, it's Brigzar. I'm wearing a classic space slash Star Wars <laughs> shirt. And space is like a really cool theme. But one of the themes that I really enjoyed collecting long before YouTube, uh, all through the 90s, was pirates. And I got a Brigzar answer thingy question from Jordan Ander Bricks, who's also asked for a Pablo. He's bought from my Lego store again. So we're going to pick his Bricklink order, which includes some pirates. <laughs> I would have worn a, a, a pirate shirt, but I don't have one anymore. Actually, I do. It's the King Kahuka one. Oh, I should have dug that out. One day I'll do the t-shirt video. That will be a long video. <laughs> so, uh, and before I get to the Pablo, I want to thank everybody. I know I've been doing a lot of these lately. And I've just, I'm, it's not that the channel is just going to only be Pablo videos, but I've gotten a lot of orders and I've gotten a lot of people requesting them. So I'm going to keep doing it. And as long as people request them, <laughs> I'll do. <laughs> so thank you, Jordan Ander Bricks. Thank you, everybody else. There's actually another one that I'll I'll be filming here. I'll probably be wearing the same thing because I want to do it tonight. Actually, should I do? Yeah, I'll do that in a separate video. All right. So enough talking about what I'm going to do. Why don't I just do it? And while I pick the order, I will talk about the question from Jordan Ander Bricks. All right. So first, we'll look at his question. And it's, can I request a Pablo and a Bat? What would you consider the best way to buy older pirate ships? He says he just got the Brick Bounty. That was named by, um, oh, somebody put in the comments below. That was a YouTuber that named that. The Brick Bounty. Uh, for cheap from eBay and was only missing one piece. And I couldn't replace from my collection. Oh, Oh, that's pretty good. Plus, the seller threw in some classic pirates, too. Awesome. All right. So how can you get older pirate sets? Bricklink order actually includes <laughs> pirate accessories. So, drawer 2366. If you needed uh, nine of these, I probably should take my tray with me. 2366. It's right here. No, I can't see. These are little muskets, I guess you call them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So pirates was like I said earlier. Pirates was something I collected um, for a long time. I actually had pretty much all of the pirate sets that came out from 1989. I'm double checking my count until uh, 2000. And one of the ones that I had a lot of. Okay. There's a store called Service Merchandise that went out of business. Got a lot of pirate sets from them. Also got a lot from Sears that went out of business. 2584. 25. Sears went out of business. So I got a lot of clearance. And this was back in a time before. Oh. I think I said the number wrong. So I, sh I shouldn't. 2584. Okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> so this was back in a time before. Um, reselling before I'd ever thought about selling Lego like I'm doing here in this video. Oh, for, oh Jordan, you fell over. I had a sick fix sitting up. This is squirrel moments. I'm sorry. That's Jordan Anderbrick's sick fig. Thank you. <laughs> so you got nine of these. So anyway, so these stores go out of business. I'm buying a lot of clearance. Not because I was thinking of reselling, but because they were such good deals and I thought about making really big setups. I, I dreamed about it even though I didn't go to shows or even really know about Lego conventions and things like that. I just knew what I wanted. Thirty-six ninety-one. He cleared out a drawer. Four heads. And so I got a lot of pirate deals really really cheap and one of them was like the harbor century which is set 6245 there's actually nobody sold one on bricklink that's sealed in a while because i think the cheapest price for one is 60 dollars, which is crazy but i just remember selling those in the early days of ebay for a ridiculous amount to me i don't even know it could have been 20 dollars or something but i thought oh that's amazing because I, I probably got most of them for like a dollar or two 851 so 
I felt as a seller, and the reason I'm going about this story this way, talking about how how can you get pirate sets cheap, is because that time period from 2000 to 2003, 2004, I did really well on eBay selling price things. I don't know if the prices are way better than what you could get today, but it just felt like uh, back in those days when eBay was new or newer to most of the people, people would um, actually bid on stuff earlier. He's got that. So it was always fun watching the bids go up and up and up. And one thing that sold was the blue pirate torso. And it's not the one like this, but the uh, the classic blue torso that was in the Harbor Century. I sold a lot of those, um, actually the whole minifigure, um, in, in some of the other sets that I had gotten. Because it was actually kind of rare compared to the other torsos, four, eight. Um, but it was a different blue than this one. But, um, so I, I thought it was a good time to sell. So, uh, I think the prices came down after more and more stuff was found on the internet. People realized, oh, because I, I made the mistake too of when I first was buying, I was paying way too much because I was so excited to find stuff that had not been available for a really, really long time. So it was really, it's like we bid too much uh, for things yellow i gotta go get the yellow f3 yellow f3 don't do much out of the yellow drawer for some reason or yellow container and i hope y'all don't mind this disjointed style of doing a video it's just the way i do it now but now i forgot what i was talking about three six nine i, pu I pulled out exactly nine how many times does that actually happen all right, so that's Jordan Ender, and that's his order. I keep him. <laughs> but he got a bunch of pirate accessories. So uh, if you try to piece together a pirate set, that can be more expensive. Uh, you can find people sometimes selling the parts to piece together a set uh, cheaper. I actually did a video <laughs> talking about the best way to sell a set sometimes is parting it out. So, that's actually, so if it's more efficient to, or more cost efficient what's the word <laughs> you can make more money selling the parts than the whole set even sealed then sometimes it's better to buy a sealed set than to try to part it together the word parting together is good is if you're taking parts from your own collection that you already have or if you are buying lots all right so that was a a lot of talking what is your answer briggs are you been stalling <laughs> Not Joseph Stalin. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> the best way is pretty much what you did is looking on eBay, but not necessarily looking for one particular set. Like if you're wanting to get an older pirate ship, such as the Black Seas Barracuda or the Skull's Eye Schooner, you could search Lego Skull's Eye Schooner or the set number 6289 or whatever those were. You could search for those and you would find it, uh, but it might be a high price, it might be missing pieces. So when I tried, when I was trying to get some older sets, I, I did that at first, but after a while I learned, I'll just look up pirates. And I would look for lots that people were selling pirates. Or you could just look at general lots and try to find some that had pirates in them. So that would be, maybe it's not in the title, maybe it's in the description. And you could buy a bulk lot cheaper and more and more people have caught on to that over the years so it's getting really really hard to do it on ebay but looking on shopgoodwill.com you can find stuff sometimes um, and also at estate sales yard sales if you do the legwork you can find stuff so that's what i would suggest be patient do a lot a lot a lot of searching and don't necessarily jump on the first thing that you see but if you do look long enough, you will find something at a better deal than perhaps what you're seeing right now if you're looking for something older. So Lego Pirates is a very popular theme, so that kind of makes it a higher price theme. Pirates, Castle, Classic Space, those always are things that are in demand. 
It's a little easier to get things in lesser known things <laughs> that people don't care about. Uh, but pirates is a really cool theme and appreciate you buying some pirate elements from my store. I want to thank everybody that's been buying in my store. It's I actually, when the Falcons lost yesterday, I stayed up for over an hour after the game picking orders. I just went ahead and did them. I had a really big order that somebody had bought from me that but they didn't request a Pablo but it was just a nice um, it's a nice way to just take my mind off of uh, sports uh, for for a minute and and also off of YouTube so and I'll just throw this in at the end it's, it's uh, YouTube is a different world than what it was when I started doing this so uh, to keep going and making it worth my while uh, I appreciate so much the comments. I got other orders from people like Joey Jones that are really supporting the channel. I need to come up with a way of recognizing these people, like having a list, like people that have bought from my Bricklink store. Have like a, a just like like at the end of the movie, <laughs> you have the uh, credits. Just have like a credit thing for my videos. That's people that have bought from my Bricklink store and requested Pablo's. People that have contributed through uh, super chat and things like that or have sent me mail i i don't know i'm just i'm just running that through my head uh, because um that helps me to remember why i do these videos i do these videos for the people that watch them not the people that comment that it was a cool video i do it for the people like you that have watched and <laughs> yeah so <laughs> it's um more effective for me to do things like this where I can have some kind of income stream uh, from selling these parts and then relying on AdSense or something from YouTube because that stuff's just pretty much gone away. But uh, the BrickLink store has done very well here in the month of September. So I think I'll use YouTube as a way to promote that. I know that doesn't help channel growth because it actually takes people away from YouTube, but who cares? <laughs> we are people. <laughs> it's... It, it's like, if there's only five of you watching, that's okay. That's cool. Uh, Joey Jones, hey. <laughs> Lego Freak, hey. <laughs> Jordan Ander Bricks, hey. How you doing? I appreciate you guys. Jody Smith. I mean, I could go on and on. Mardi Gras, man. People that are actually watching, um, I, I thank you. Uh, it makes my day. And I may even start doing some of these live where I can have the interaction. It's just a little harder to look at the comments <laughs> and pick the order. Uh, so maybe I'll get my son uh, to help me or something. Let me know what you think about that. So I was going to do the other order. Uh, and I'll just do that in another video since I talked so long in this one. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Jordan Ender, for your order. See you in the next video. Bye.